All right, so you're going to start with the potato now for the shepherd pie, right? So we're going to prep the potato first. You have about probably four pounds of potato here. Boil. Now the salt when they boil in it and just see the flavor and they back to the little other flavors in here, right? Remember this is the um the top of the shepherd pie with I know a lot of people yeah, no. put the potato to the bottom, then meat, then potato. Then as we put the meat first and the potato, more meat than rice, right? Right, so we are in here now. We usually use the prize butter, the marigold, but that was the last of it. We use any French made and the salt butter. Just like you make it, how you make the the cream, the cream, the cream mashed potato. We add some butter here. Two tablespoon of butter and a, a tablespoon of salt butter. Now remember, you don't want it dry on the um on the shepherd pie. Why it a little moist? You don't want, you don't want it too stiff and dry, right? We add the evaporated milk. I just about half of the box. And our big side. No? Mm -hmm. Yeah, then some add some cheese. Someone stole. Someone stole. Someone watch it. And then I'll black pepper too. Now it's hot. So I'll pinch up black pepper. Now you have cheese on them. I don't think I did. Say what you want, Dango? I don't think I need awesome. When I saw some salt, I have a half teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of black pepper. Right? Yeah, really? Cooperate everything here now. Huh? I add a little more milk and it'll dry, right? No. Right, crack into two eggs now in it. Right, the eggs will help hold the potato together and all. Mm -hmm. Right, so as you put it in a mash up, I'll take the arm. Um, mm -hmm. incorporate everything here together, right? Mm -hmm. Just this a little bit. Red missing. Tasty butter. Tasty salt. Everything good. Right, so that's it here for this. Right, we're going to start with the chicken mix here now. Right, so we're going to use the meat grinder here now, the Michelangelo brand. I think it's about 100 US on Amazon feed. Really good. Well, it's a good product, the star rating on it. The first time we're going to use it, right? So we cut the chicken into smaller pieces to fit. And we're going to thank the people at Michelangelo. Yeah, for well, selling it to us. So we're going to fill it up. Right? Yeah. Right, so we're going to fill it on this. And we'll get back here in the next process. Right, so we're going to start with the minced meat process. We already minced the meat. Right, the meat is really nice. And we got a good amount, right? Yeah. So we're going to show you the seasoning yeah. process on the meat. We shall add um, green seasoning. Right? So we're adding like a full tablespoon of green seasoning. We're adding some garlic, about a tablespoon of garlic. That's why the chicken come out good, right? Enough seasoning. We're adding some black pepper, that is half teaspoon of black pepper. A teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of maggi all purpose. Right? We are going to season now with a teaspoon of season. We are going to incorporate everything together now. Right, we are going to start with the meat now with the fish shepherd pie, right? So we are adding some oil. So we are going to add now, we are adding some onions. The onion will finely dice. That's what we are using to fry the shepherd pie. So make you prepare the meat for the shepherd pie, right? We have two pimento cut up here. Finely dice. We add some carrots. You usually add the carrots, you want the carrots to get tender and nice during the cooking process, right? 
Mommy asked to also be little early. So we need to add more to it, right? Let us cook down our little gal tender. And we are adding again in next after Guagi night. Right, we are in the chicken now. Let's let cook down this. And you're going to have one of the joint cook out of here. So it's looking nice. Watch. And that's what plenty and this to do. Then she came back small. They started to clump up fast. So she come with that 10 minutes to be doing like this. Chopping up the chicken, they get fine and nice. Right? So we are in now. There's some flour. This is just to get the chicken to hold together, right? I'll show you with this what gravy you will get. And you can normally use chicken stock. But guys, chicken stock is really easy to make. If you don't want chicken stock, a maggi flavor, chicken flavor, and a bit of water like chicken stock, right? So don't think, you know, stock hard to get. We are getting kind of stock. You know that all the, all the maggi have all the different flavors of meat? Yeah, fish, chicken. Fish, chicken, beef, yeah. pork, all these things. And that is all you have to do to make, mix up it in water and you will get stuck with that, right? With that flour in there. Oh, that half cup of flour, but you had. Right, we have some hunt sauce, the tomato, tomato sauce, we had in the steak. And we can add the stock now. I don't have any of the stock, so I just add in some regular water because it's chicken. And remember, I add margarine in it already. So that's what it's juicy and nice. What is just juicy and nice, right? You don't want it so dry because you're waiting a piece, right? Right, we are in somebody rosemary. We are in some fine time. You know, nice, rich kind of seasoning flavor. You know, rosemary and thyme, yeah, that kind of authentic flavor. Yeah. So that's what we're using up, right? You don't want this dry. You're waiting on nice texture, right? See the flour helps to keep it up real nice. If it's lamb meat, you know, where the um, where the shepherd pie can use lamb, men's lamb, men's chicken, men's beef, men's pork, anything of your choice you want to use, you could use, right? It's up to you, totally optional to you. Now, if you don't have salt, take the tomato paste, take away a lot of it. Then I'm just add one again. Point. What's your next process now, Stacey? What's going on here now? I want to cook a dish. I want to butter the dish. Okay, more meat done. As I say, I don't base it with the potato. Right? If you want to base it with the potato, no problem. But I don't base it with the potato, right? Right? So we're done. Dice it here. I want you to add chicken. Hmm. So that full pie we're making. We have some chicken remain here. Alright, so mama with the potato, the potato already cooked. The chicken already cooked. So that's why we get baked together, they incorporate together to get our flavor. So normally a basic potato on top here, what try do it? Let's sprinkle our cheese. So when this cheese melts down, 
a go in between a go in between and all the chicken so when you raise that chicken you will see that cheese as well. all right now next step now the potato all I imagine is when you cut it and you pick up all the cheese melting on it. All right, so that's what I tell you when you put it to soft. So when you're pacing it around, it won't be too stiff, right? The paste around in the chicken. Right? So, dice it in like this. Alright, that's it for this. Alright, what are we doing here now? Design here, boy. What? I do this now. I see the little pieces. Okay. Gonna get a crepe edge. What? Texture to the top, people. Yeah. You think we just taste? Gonna go feel good. Mm. Yeah, the crepe seeds with the edges now. All right. Now that is basically a fit. I still sprinkle in a little cheese. So it's like a melt cheese. Who don't yeah, like too much of the cheese? It's character, so you You know who don't like the cheese? You can omit the cheese right. some. Right? Now remember the meat, cheese, potato, cheese, right? I put. So you can omit the cheese some in the middle, that's on top. Or you can just put in the middle. Guys, let us make this now. My recipe. That's I right. want something. What's it's up? the greatest. Right, so that's it. We have all the remaining now, yeah? Go for that in addition, make that one time. Yeah. One time. See you not. Alright, only watch this. Watch your mouth. What percentage of meat? Oh my god. What huh. do you percent? Did you meat? Huh. What do you put there? This is half. You look at that. Right? Alright, right, guys, things happening here. Things looking good. I'm pony broiler in now, which is on top. That's the cripsy of the top of this. Is the baby one we get the small mini one for the excess stuff? Everything melting. So let me put this to cool off here. I don't want to hit the cold here kind of shampoo because it's going to stiffen it up. Yeah. Next one, the broiler. And the broiler. Yeah, so it's already going to get the crypt here. That's right? the thing. That's good. That's good. Final product here. Okay. Such a kid. Little yachty. 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 And just right. It's only big enough oily, not bad enough. Really good.